The rare Aplomado Falcon vanished from South Texas more than 50 years ago, but thanks to a cooperative effort between the Peregrine Fund, United States Fish and Wildlife Service, Texas Parks and Wildlife, and private landowners, the Falcon is once again thriving along the coastal prairie. Paul Jurgens and Brian Much with the Peregrine Fund are busy monitoring this year's breeding pairs of falcons in deep South Texas. The Aplomato falcon is still considered an endangered species. Uh, we're probably three quarters of the way to recovery at this point. Habitat loss, egg collecting, and the harmful pesticide DDT are all thought to have contributed to the falcon's disappearance. Thanks to a successful restoration effort begun some 15 years ago utilizing captive reared birds bred for release, the magnificent raptors are rebounding. Can, we continue to be amazed at, at how these birds are taking to the environment. At least 50 pairs were thought to be nesting from Matagorda Island south to the Rio Grande. And when the number of pairs are documented at 60 or more, which could easily happen in a couple of years, there are plans to downlist the falcon from endangered to threatened and then delist them entirely. It, the recovery should be completed. I think it's, it's within sight now. Richard Moore, News from the Outdoors.